taking a look at saving savvy. Most Americans still struggle to build up their retirement savings. We are turning to financial expert Stephanie O'Connell. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me on. What are some recent research results telling you about the state of savings in America? So a new survey out from PurePoint Financial say, says that Americans really do value their financial savings almost as much as they value their physical well-being and health. But that same survey found that two in five Americans have less than $1,000 in their savings account and that 47% of Americans have their savings account at the same bank as their checking account, which tells us that around half of Americans aren't really being proactive about their savings. In fact, we found that 75% of Americans aren't actively searching for the best interest rate on their savings. So we're saying that we value our savings and our financial health, but when it comes to really following through on those values, even relatively simple things like making sure we're getting the most from our money at the bank, a lot of us are still falling short. Stephanie, that is alarming. Can you give us some tips to help people build up a stronger financial future? Well, the golden rule of saving money is pay yourself first. And when you're just starting out, I like to say that the habit of saving is more important than the actual dollar amount that you save. So if you can only set aside a couple of bucks a week, don't dismiss that. That's really valuable because if you start that habit of setting some money aside, no matter how much, that habit's going to continue to be there for you as you start to earn more or when you get a financial windfall. And then it's it's just a matter of scaling those savings contributions as you're more able. The amount of money you make on your money is so critical. What do you have to say about getting the best bank rates? you want to be shopping around for the interest rate on your savings account. And right now, we're in a really great environment for savings interest rates. So you should be targeting around at least 2% interest on your savings account. In order to find that kind of rate, I recommend looking at online banks, digital banks like PurePoint Financial. That way, you're ensuring your money is working just as hard for you as you do for it. What do you say to people who are living paycheck to paycheck. What I like to say is two things. Again, remembering that the habit of saving is more important than the amount. So even if it is a dollar, that's valuable. So don't dismiss even small amounts of money that you can save. Spare change, if you get into the habit of setting that money aside, that has value. The second thing you can do is find ways to increase your income. Ask for a raise, take on a side hustle, pick up overtime if you can. That is what's gonna really enable you to supercharge your savings and make sure you're getting as much money added to that savings habit as possible. One dollar can make a difference. Any other tips or research results before you take off? Eight in 10 Americans found that saving money is actually super rewarding, even more so than losing weight. So remember, saving money can be fun. It's not just about the numbers, it's about what those numbers afford you. So if you're having trouble saving, remember to think about what you want your savings to afford you. Maybe it's your retirement, maybe it's sending your kids to college. So those things might help keep you on track and motivated to save when you might otherwise struggle. So keep those things top of mind. You can learn more saving strategies from me at stephanieoconnell.com and learn more about maximizing the money that you save at purepoint.com. Thank you, Stephanie. We hope you'll come back on our show. Thank you so much. Check out businessfirstam.com to find out where to see our entire show. And don't forget to like, follow, and share Business First AM.